Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. In my last video, I showed how to install the iStat Pro dashboard widget, and then I realized that maybe you don't know what a dashboard or a dashboard widget is. So, um, like I showed you before, the dashboard is this cool little layer that you can display um, on top of whatever you're doing and each item in here is called a widget. So here I've got a calculator and a calendar and a clock and a weather report and then this um, system monitoring widget called iStat Pro that I showed you how to install in that other video. Well, um, it ends up you can add as many as you want here. You can reconfigure what's here. You can delete what's here. Um, but first, let me show you the different ways to bring this up. The first one, like I just did there, is to click on the dashboard icon on your dock. Just like that. Another way is to look at your function keys and find the one that has a little icon that looks like a simplified version of this. On mine it's F4, and I'll push it right now. Uh, on other keyboards it's sometimes an F12, so just look for the icon that looks like a circle with a little speedometer in it. And there's another way that's pretty cool where you can make one of your screen corners active so that when you move the cursor there it will um, bring up the dashboard. So you go to System Preferences and then under Exposé and Spaces you can pick one of these four corners. It's under the section called Active Screen Corners. So let's pick the bottom right. I'll set that to Dashboard, and then I'll close System Preferences, and now look what happens when I move the cursor to the bottom right. It just brings up the Dashboard, and then when I move it there again, it takes it away. All right, so now let me show you a few things about widgets. For one, you can just click in a widget and drag, do a click and drag to move it around however you want. So let's lay these out kind of around the edge. Uh, often widgets have different modes which you can switch between by clicking on it. So let me try clicking on this one here. There it goes and sets an events area over here. I'll click it again. Now it shrinks to a smaller version and then it goes back to that one. If I click on the, or if I hover over the clock you'll see another way that sometimes widgets can um, let you get to their settings. There'll be a little eye in one of the corners. So here's where I set what city I'm in so it knows what time to display. Same thing here over on the weather widget. Click the eye and I can set a location. Okay, so now let me show you how to add and remove widgets. You'll see that there's this plus sign down in the lower left. If you click on that, it will bring up a list, and you can see that the list is actually two screens worth. And to add one of these, all you need to do is click on it. So let's say I want to add the uh, iTunes one. There, it just added it right up there. And uh, if I don't want it anymore, I can just click on this X and it'll disappear. Also, you'll see, yeah, if you click on the widgets item, which is the on the first page here, that will bring up basically that same list but you'll see at the bottom here a More Widgets button. If you click on that, it will open up a browser and go to Apple where it lists a bunch of dashboard widgets. So let's see how easy it is to install one of these. Um, here's their staff pick is the Weather Channel widget, which I think is a more advanced version of the Weather widget. So I'll just click on the Download button. I will double click on it. It will unzip itself, and here in my downloads folder I'll see 
the installation application, which I'll double click on that. And it asks if I want to install it and open it in the dashboard. So I'll click the install button. And what you usually see here is a delete or a keep. So I'll keep. And that's all there is to it. Now I have a different weather widget. Here's the one that came with the Mac operating system, and here's the one I just installed. So let's see. I will. Um, let's, I want to know what the weather's like in Key West. Oh, excuse me. There we go. It's 88, but it feels like 98. Okay, typical. <laughs> and you'll see on this widget, I can go check out the forecast. I can see the radar map. Much more information than I could get in this weather widget. So, um, play around with this. Um, decide which way is the easiest way for you to get into it, whether you want to click on the dock icon or press the function key or maybe use the hot corner like that. So, hope that helps. And uh, remember, you can drag these around to set them up exactly how you want them.